right, this is an event that happened back in 2021 on December 11th, I believe, at 4.08 in the afternoon, whatever time this is from, I'm sure, wherever. Now, this is supposedly satellite footage of this event happening, and there was a comet coming through here which appeared to emit something that the Earth appeared to block. That's all I'm going to talk about for that for now. Now, let's look at everything that we can see and what can we deduce. What can we sort of suspect is probably correct. We're seeing waves coming this way, and we know the sun is over here, and it's hitting the Earth over here. And this is Venus in between. Now, you would expect this to be white where it was the sun's rays were impacting with it and to be black on the other side, as is the, the Earth. is more white over here and black on the other side. Well, I can tell you why this is not. And it's because it's spinning backwards. Now, let's home in a little closer to everything here. Remember these waves coming out. This is from emissions from the sun. All right, now, what are we seeing here? Every single particle, 100%, is a dipole. They have a black and a white, 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 black, 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 black. All right, why? Everything is a dipole because in space, everything is moving and also in space there is what Don Lincoln at Fermi Lab calls the quantum foam. All right, what does that mean? It's all the light particles. It's a foam. You don't even see it, it's, but it's there. And we're scrubbing and spinning through it, creating magnetic fields which are our dipoles. And this one here, here's the key. This one's spinning backwards. You see it's got a double poles inside of its own self. It's got a white on this side and a black on this side and a black on this side and a white on this side. This is Venus. How could this possibly be? And when we look at it on the magnetic field spectrum, you can see it has a double field. It literally has a double field. Absolutely phenomenal. This is all just by accident this has happened. Now, what are we seeing here? This is the Earth. Well, why do we have all this black and white stuff going on there instead of just white if it's facing the sun? The reason is, this is our weather. <laughs> this is literally our weather. We're scrubbing into there, but we have mountains and valleys and, you know, storms and all that stuff causes these patterns to show up as field effects because they're disrupting the flow of the light and so forth. Now, you can see on the other side, it's pretty well dark. But here, you have a, a little bit of a mix. Now, there's almost nothing here. Why do we have a dark spot here? This is the wraparound effect of a spinning it's spinning in and its stuff is coming around here and it's just it basically it's a flow of particles around they they surround and they pull back in again and they're just banging together here this i can't really explain i gotta be honest with you this just shocks the hell out of me we're seeing nothing here nothing no no particle interaction at all i can't account for that i have no idea why I can see all of these dipoles, which the sun is illuminating quite obviously. I'm sure they're back in here. The sun's just not hitting them. But you'd think they'd be sort of way out up here somewhere, and where this camera shot was taken, you'd see something in there. There's absolutely nothing there. Zero. I can't account for it unless it has something to do with the black bit. But you see this here? This is, this is the cool thing. Where do you see I show you the magnetic field lines 
of what I believe to be Venus, and it is powerful. This sucker's got some jolt, and it has a double field. I just couldn't even imagine it. I don't forget. Black and white, black and white together. That's, and it's spinning backwards, and that's why the dark side is against the what you would think it would be impacting. Well, it's it's spinning backwards, so this is crashing, and then it's just sort of sloughing off this side, and just drifting away. But this is spinning backwards and crashing in, and causing a, all kinds of impact, which drives the black away from the white, and so forth. Anyway, very interesting. I'm pretty sure that's a double field. You see these lines here, They're sort of weak looking, and these being real strong looking, and you see how glowy that is and sort of drifting away and how black and big that is. Now that's, that is not normal. Normally you don't have this double field effect. And again, I think it's plowing in instead of rolling with the particles in space, it's scrubbing back against them. So it's pushing through space, which creates a field, and then it's scrubbing backwards against it, which creates a more intense field. This is the more intense field right here. This is the space field, uh, is what I'm thinking. And this is the more intense scrubbing back against space. Now this, I don't know what to say. But you don't see a double field. You see that normally you have just a field like this. The moon doesn't put out a field because it's not spinning. It's just being dragged around and more or less attached to the earth. So it's concussing, creating blue. So it's going this way. Concussing, creating blue, and that's creating the orange and red. Now, I just get sent these pictures from Dylan Carpenter. He's Rod's nephew. Rod Warren did all the other pictures, basically. Now. All I can say is that I believe there's probably Jupiter in the background there creating that gigantic field. And this could very well be Venus. You see how it's got a double, op, op, just crazy looking magnetic field there. Black and white and white and black, both in the, you know, blah, 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 blah. I mean, uh, I, that blah, 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 blah. and whatever it is, it's obliterating the field but it protrudes or it's laying on top of that. I don't know. This stuff here, I have no clue about. I really have no idea. None. Zero. But I can tell you what, the moon does not have a field. You see all that field? That's impressed upon the moon. And that's a single field. That's just a single field. Whatever is creating that field from behind here, it's, it, could, it could be the sun. I, don't, I, have any, I have no idea. Again, this is sent to me. All I know is this is an impact zone and this is a trailing zone. This is being pulled this direction by the Earth. Whatever is behind here is creating these extraordinary fields. That's all I can say. This I found very interesting. They seem to be acting as a, a group. And I don't know whether that's the Pleiades. Again, I, I didn't take these pictures. You see? Look at that. Now, Dylan, I think, said this was when there was supposed to be a blood moon. But this is seven, I don't know, just seven sisters. It could be a Pleiades. I have no idea what it is. But I can tell you what. There's a bunch of fields surrounding this as a system. What that means, I don't know. Well, look at this. I can't account for this. Again, I did not take these pictures. Check this out and think. Think when you look. Look at the little field lines down here. Can you see those? Let me make sure you can see those. I hope you can see them. There is field lines down there. Look at the top. There is field lines up here. They wrap right around here. Now, why is there none of these particles out here? Why is there none of the particles down at the bottom? You see it? There's like a, a gap at the top 
and the bottom. Why? They're all dipoles. Every one of these, 100% is a dipole, black and white, black and white, black and white. Now, I have to assume that's the moon. What's going on? Why is this? Uh, I, 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 I don't know what to say. I have no idea. Don't forget, I'm going with this as the double field generated because of Venus pushing through the solar system, spinning in reverse. So it's pushing through the particles like we all are, but we're sort of rolling with them. This is pushing through them and scrubbing backwards. So this is the scrub backwards zone is what I feel, and this is the push through the universe zone which is another field. So they're opposing fields onto their own self, and that is exactly what we saw. You see, this, this is not normal. That's a, absolutely unnormal. A black and a white and a black and a white tied together as, as a single sphere. The only reason is because it's going backwards. We're going the correct direction, so we have basically the white on this side, the black on that side. That's how it's supposed to work. That is an anomaly.